so I guess I mean we have a few research points maybe we should do some research mm, let's see what we can do uh, nothing it turns out no wait that's RP there research point so we could do actually we could do both like game tutorials they usually well worth it I think I'm very useful Oh, we need to keep tabs on our money as well. So I think after this, after this is done, we need to do, um, we need to start in a new game. So, oh yeah, but we have made. Let's see. Let's see what top topics we've got. We've got airplane. We haven't used airplane, have we? Airplane. I think we did airplane simulation, didn't we? Let's check out our games here, game history. We did Time Train, the time travel adventure. Okay, 6.5 wasn't that great. Uh, City Life before that was not great at all, actually. And it was um, a City RPG. Before that, we did the airplane simulation. Okay, fly days. Rocket Saga before that, sci-fi adventure. So we've done sci-fi, airplane, city and time travel. I think we have one more. Yeah, sports. Not my favorite genre, but uh, maybe we could do a sports, sports simulation, like I don't know, it's a uh, mini golf manager. That's great. Mini, mini golf, oh, manager. The sports simulator. Simulating for, for PC. And yeah, we do have this Lime Engine. Lime Engine. And uh, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you're a mini golf manager. You manage all these mini golf professionals. I mean, um, you, they're, they're really good at playing mini golf and they go around the world playing on all these different... Um, recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. So we get target audience. Well, we um, is available for reasons. Right, uh, sports simulation. Gameplay very important. We see this down here. Um, um, I think engine could be very important as well for the simulation, I would think so. And the story quests, well, not really. I mean, you gotta manage these uh, golfers, mini golfers, going round, round the country and the world in a mini Cooper and just putting all those golf balls straight through the courses you know through these loop-de-loops and other things they have um, okay so dialogues probably not important at all level design yeah we need that we need level design for the uh, golf courses Artificial intelligence, yeah, I mean, you need to have some of that because the um, you have to have opponents, other golfers, mini golfers, that uh, you compete against. So they, I mean, they can't be crap because then it's not fun. So, 
so when I don't think we're going to hit any design or technology goals with this one mm. will design I mean not really you don't really care about the outside world when you're a mini golfer uh, graphics yeah this should be okay I think and the sound yeah. not super important Following the massive success of the TS console, there are now rumors circulating that Vena, uh, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Um, Vena, which is Sega, I guess. Uh, presumably. Oh, we're done. Uh, just a few bugs. Fix and few more design points and there we go we ship it off out into the world oh two new records actually that's nice and we get a bonus 1.5 times our score which is great oh we leveled up 2d graphics version 2 and let's go I'm sure this is gonna be hit come on mini golf manager Played it for days! Yeah! Oh, very enjoyable! Eight, another eight. Can we get another eight? Yeah, simulation games work well on PC. Yes, indeed they do. And a seven. They didn't like it quite as much. All the games. Well, we should make a um, report. This game, see how much does it sell in the first. Sold. About 9,000. Today, Ben has confirmed recent rumors about the new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TS by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Uh, and the post release analysis is ready, and sports and simulation is a great combination. Yeah, of course, and graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. Okay, so we should have put a bit more into the graphics. Right. See, now we've used all of the topics. Maybe we should research another topic for our next game. We could uh, research also the target audience. Could be useful. Hmm... 165k. I think we need a new topic at least. Oh, medieval. That's going to be good. Yeah, do that. And uh, we can still afford to research other things. According to... Oh, it's a surprise hit! Yeah! Look at it! Look at it go! It's rank 19. Uh, the developer Limewood Games is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. That's great! Yeah, it's going up! Oh, well, it's going down in rank, but... Uh, and we researched Medieval. Maybe we should uh, research the target audience for Medieval. Uh, we want that to be catering to a more mature audience. So, there we go. Almost done. Target audience. Now I think that doesn't need a does not need a custom game engine. So, we should just be able to develop new game. Yeah, I can now specify the main target audience. Games can be targeted at young people, everyone, or at more mature audiences. And pick it and right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Uh, some platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. So I think um, if we're picking med medieval, I think um, what should it be? A medieval RPG. Uh, medieval RPG, okay, uh, for a mature audience. 
and uh, it will have it on the RPG it could probably work well on TS but the license cost is too much I think the PC is I mean we know that it has some affinity with RPG so it should work we got engine and what are we gonna call it let's see uh, medieval RPG could it be hmm it's gonna be about I'm thinking it could be about um, maybe a hobbit that uh, he he's late for work and he um, uh, so he needs to work late and because he works late he gets uh, locked up because the one who locks the the, uh, the company where he works um, didn't really know that he's working late so he locked the doors and you can't unlock from inside uh, for some reason and well then the RPG takes you down into the cellars of his company where um, uh, whoa writer's block <laughs> naming games difficult yeah yeah that's that's right okay and well, he's working at a pencil factory and down in the basement they have uh, he finds like um, a tunnel that leads out into a huge catacombs that no one knew anything about and he has an adventure uh, so we call it a uh, hobbit uh, um, no, it's an RPG, yeah, a uh, Hobbit, maybe like that, a uh, Hobbit, um, Journey, Journey, and we start development in 2D graphics, now, Mini Golf Managers is now off the market, I sold 34,700 uh, units, generating 240 43 almost in sales and that's pretty good still let's make Hobbit's, Hobbit's Journey even better it's an RPG so I think we need stories quests a lot of that and not as much engine and not as much gameplay We could have used a tutorial for this one, maybe, so... But I think we need a few more parts before we make a new engine. Dialogues, absolutely. And uh, level designer, yeah, we need a, a bit of level design in this. Yeah, we do in the catacombs. Artificial intelligence, well, nah, not really. The, a bit, maybe a bit of that. Because the... Uh, the... The mutated pencil monsters need to have a bit of AI intelligence, so they don't they don't just run into the walls. Um, sound not very important because uh, they don't really make much noise. These pens and uh, well design pretty important and graphics yeah okay. Today the new game platform Master V by Vena has been released. Yeah, I'm um, not sure we're going to develop for that. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing, willing to give an interview about this? Sure. Great, thank you for your time. We'll publish the interview next week. What? That was a quick interview. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Limewood Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Limewood, owner and CEO of Limewood Games, said, We think the players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. That's right. Many industry experts say that sooner or later 
games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It's essential to build hype to ensure the players are excited about your game. In the beginning, beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain, gain more experience, you can, use more, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Okay, so we can use... Oh, we have some hype from the, uh, I guess, from the interview. And uh, there, we fixed the bugs. And off we go. The recently released gaming console Master V by Vena stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. A hobby's journey. We got new topic, new combo again. And uh, we're not going to level up anything, it looks like. Not this time. The graphics level up pretty quickly. And release. Let's see how it goes. The first reviews are in. Come on! 10. 8. Okay. Medieval and RPG is a great combination. That's nice. Love it! Informed Gamer loves it. That's nice. Beautiful, says Game Hero. And lastly, we get very enjoyable from all games. This, I think that's the same in total as our last game. So that's, that should do alright. Let's make a game report. It sells. Oh, more than 10,000, that's not bad. Uh, medieval and RPG is a great combination. Story quests seem to be very important for this type of game. And platform audience match, PC mature is great. So, mature players like the PC. Now we should do some more research. We have a bit of money now. So I think we could... We could do mono sound. Come on. And it's, it's actually, I don't think it's, the rank is not as great as a previous game, but it's still selling pretty well. And we research mono sound. Now let's research a new topic. Um, alternate history. Let's do it. Alternate history game. Maybe alternate history strategy could that be something new maybe alternate history rpg let's see uh we're not gonna make a new custom engine yet because that is expensive instead we're going to develop a new game it's going to be an alternate history uh adventure action i think it could be anything simulation uh, not sure. Alternate history strategy um, for mature audiences again. Is that no? Okay. So we're going to do. Hmm, what's this going to be called? It's alternate history strategy game. Oh, and we need to pick this for the PC with our engine. And it will be um, the Roman uh, Roman uh, uh, Steam. Roman steam. It's going to be about when, when the Romans developed the steam engine and created a huge industrial complex. Um, it's strategy game, so strategy I think needs gameplay and a lot of engine, a lot of engine. Story quests, nah, not so much. 
And the hobbyist journey is now off the market. It sold 36,000 units and generated about 250,000 sales. So it's okay. I think we've got some fans of it as well. We've got almost a thousand fans. And we now have casual games to research. That could be something we could get into, I'm sure. Uh, recent market data shows that the Govados G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. So, uh, Roman Steam, this is development stage 2. This alternate history strategy game is not going to need any dialogues at all. We will need a lot of artificial intelligence. For all the workings of the game and level design I don't think we need a lot of level design for this game now almost nothing so we're gonna leave it now oh, maybe a bit more I mean we could need a bit of level design for if we're going to make like a campaign and you're going to have levels and uh, where you should build uh, your different industrial factories maybe how the world uh, different times of the, uh, in history where you can start um, so world design is we do need a bit of world design actually in this game but not that much sound not I don't think that's important I mean you have like steam sound some kind of sound when the steam engines run that's about it and graphics yeah graphics okay maybe a bit more sound then about that so that look good I think so we'll see I think we're doing okay with money well this was no this was no, um, oh, it was a record actually in technology. Just about, I think. So we're getting slightly closer. Slowly, we're getting closer. But we've got some way to go until we level up. And reviews are already in. Wow, that's fast. Roman Steam. I think this is a game maybe I would play in real life. Seven, eight. Well, maybe we can, a bit. Maybe you could give me a little bit more, please. Oh, well, it's okay. It's, there's no really good super hit or anything. Uh, today, Nevento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. Uh, looks exactly like the Game Boy. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen and on a green background, built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the gaming is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The gaming is set to hit shelves next month. Now let's make a game report. 7.75 it seems to be common score. Oh, that was pretty good. About 13, 14,000 in the first week. Uh, our post release analysis is now complete. Alternate history and strategy is a good combination, not great. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Oh, really? And the PC strategy match is great. And alternate history mature is also great. So maybe I don't know. Maybe if we put some more into sound, we could maybe even better. Twenty RP. Should we get casual games? Yeah, let's do it. I think that gives us an additional category when we're selecting the genre. 
genre. And we have researched casual games. Nice. Now we should probably develop a new game again. No, wait. I think what we need is a new topic. New topic. A horror game, of course. Today, the new game platform Gaming by Nintendo has been released. Should we make, should we make a horror game for the Gamelink? Maybe not the best <laughs> platform for a horror game. Well, I guess if you're creative enough, uh, it sold 37,000 Roman Steam uh, units and generated 261,000. Not as good as the previous game, I guess. Yeah, that had hype, yeah. Hobby's journey had some hype. You have successfully researched a new topic, horror. So we're going to make a horror game for mature audiences. I think that's best. It's fitting. A casual horror game. Not sure what that would be. Strategy horror game. A horror simulation. As horror simulation, uh, horror RPG, adventure, action, horror action. That sounds right. Horror action for the PC. I guess we could do it on one of these platforms. Horror on the TS. I'm not, I'm not convinced. Let's make it on the PC. Yeah, let's make it on PC. Let's try it on PC first. And with our old engine, maybe we should start upgrading that soon. So it's going to be a horror action game. About... Um, the... The Slim Pencils. Ooh. And uh, an action game is going to require a bit of engine. I think a lot of engine. Uh, it's not a lot of quests. I mean, story. It's just you know you got you got in these catacombs. It's like a, a follow-up to the Hobbit's journey. And uh, we go down into catacombs, and it's dark. And then you find this big room. And the door shuts behind you. And there's these slim pencils everywhere. So that's about the story. So um, maybe gameplay. I think engine is going to be very important. I think that's good. We'll go with that anyway. Can we get a new rug? Probably not. Um, dialogues. No, the pencils don't really talk. They just make scratching sounds. Uh, we have artificial intelligence. Well, they're not that clever, are they? Some level design. Yeah, let's go with level design. Artificial intelligence a bit anyway, because they need to be a, a bit smarter if, if uh, it's going to be fun with the horror theme. So I think I think that's best. And for the last stage of development, we're going to go with for action game. We need well design. It's not very important when it's pretty much pitch black. We don't need, really need a lot of world design. Um, sound is important, very important, and graphics very important. So let's do those two. Graphics, I mean. You need to make the pencils really be believable and really horrible. Uh, with the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. And now we can research marketing. That's great. We're going to finish this game soon. Just a few more bugs fixed. I think it might be design record. No, 
it was not but we got a bonus because we have a new topic and combo and not yeah we level up graphics and team graphics version 2 we're almost leveled up ourselves as well and we now get 2 graphics version 3 and 3d graphics version 1 finally we can have some 3d graphics and first reviews came in for the slim pencils and I think it's gonna be huge seven good game okay it's not maybe not that huge okay six Inform Gamer liked it. Um, 7. Okay, nice experience. Maybe a 10 here. Um, no. Or 8. That's that's fine. That's fine. I think that's good enough. Going to generate a game report and see how it sells. Uh, 14. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we've got some money now. And uh, we got the result from the analysis. Horror and action is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Um, okay, and did we do a lot of level design? I don't remember. And PC action, platform uh, match was good. Yeah, I thought maybe it would be better on console, but it's good. It's not bad anyway. Okay, so it's selling pretty well. So. Um, I think next, uh, if you have more than 1 million in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry, once you release a hit game, you'll get to this amount easily. Okay, once we release a hit game, it's coming, uh, maybe next time. So, stay tuned. Bye! <laughs>